Blue Pumpkin giveaway and clearance. Just one example, with an overwhelming turnout from the community, Blue Pumpkins didn't last very long at the Great Pumpkin Farm. More on this story and a very special bond from 7 Eyewitness News reporter Chris Maria. We've got blue hands. <laughs> We've gone blue for Craig. Kevin Lang's hands are stained from days of hard work honoring his fallen friend. I was in Iraq with Craig in 2011 on the same tour. I consider myself honored that I had the opportunity to know him. Coloring as many as he could in four days. Pumpkins, that is. At my house, we painted close to 300 pumpkins. Lang says it's exactly what his buddy would have wanted, to color the city blue. Craig was the type of guy that would tell you, you're hurting, you're sad, I understand. Now let's do something positive with that sorrow. And that's what we're trying to accomplish. So that's exactly what the Great Pumpkin Farm in Clarence did. Something positive and memorable in honor of Officer Laner. Hundreds of people stopped by, some to grab one, others to grab a few. And within a matter of hours, 1,000 blue pumpkins disappeared. This, uh, this tent was full of pumpkins this morning. But today uh, wasn't just about the pumpkins. I, they, Western uh, New Yorkers also offered donations, all of which are going to Officer Lehner's family in an additional sign of support. To Lang, today was bittersweet. You know, it, it's so tragic that something so positive could happen from something like this, you know. But it gives the community a chance to come together. You know, this is bigger than pumpkins. It's even bigger than that. It's an opportunity for people to heal. In Clarence, Christy Maria, 7 Eyewitness News.